Introduction Arun is at school enjoying his mathematics lesson with his teacher Miss Priya. He is halfway through solving a problem when he sees his science teacher Miss Amita enter the class. She asks Priya the strength of her class. 35 replies Miss Priya. Miss Amita performs a quick mental calculation and says, There are 180 students in the other five sections of class 3. If this section is included, the total strength of class 3 is 215. Miss Amita is long gone, but Arun is still wondering how she managed to compute so fast. In this lesson, you will learn mental arithmetic to speed up your calculations. Addition to master mental arithmetic, you must get your basics right. A basic fact about addition is that the sum of two numbers does not change when we split the two numbers into two or more. For example, to add 25 and 7, we can break the number 7 into two numerals, 5 and 2. We do so as it is easy to add 25 and 5. 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. Then we are left with two numbers, 30 and 2, to add. The result is 32. Thus, the sum of 25 and 7 can be quickly calculated as 32. Addition of three-digit numbers. Let us now see how we can simplify the addition of numbers with three or more digits. Let us try and add 171, 512 and 405. To simplify the addition, we proceed according to place values. Let us begin with the digits at the hundreds place, that is 1, 5 and 4. We add 100, 500 and 400. The sum is 1000. Now we proceed to add the digits at the tens place, that is 7, 1 and 0. We add 70, 10 and 00, 0 to get 80. Finally, we add the digits at the ones place, that is 1, 2 and 5, to get 8. Now we need to add 1000, 80 and 8 to get the sum of 171, 512 and 405. The result of the addition is 1088. Mental Subtraction We can perform mental subtraction in a manner similar to mental addition. Zero is the easiest number to subtract. So we will always try to make the second number, that is the number to be subtracted, end with zero. Let us try to subtract 29 from 67. Since the second number must end with a zero, we subtract 30, not 29, from 67. The subtraction gives us 37. But we subtracted an additional one. So we add one to the difference. Thus, the result of subtracting 29 from 67 is 38. Let us practice mental subtraction. Subtract 427 from 842. To simplify subtraction, let us convert 427 to 430 and 842 to 840. To subtract 430 from 840. First, subtract 400 from 800 to get 400. Then, subtract 30 from 40 to get 10. Therefore, the difference between 840 and 430 is 410. But we subtracted an additional 3 when we subtracted 430 instead of 427. So, we add 3 to the difference. We left out 2 when we subtracted 430 from 840 and not 842. So we add two more to the difference. Thus, the result of subtracting 427 from 842 is 415. Mental Multiplication Having learnt mental addition and subtraction, let us proceed to learn mental multiplication. To multiply a number by 10 or its multiples, Add the same number of zeros to the result as in the multiplier. To multiply a number by 9, multiply it by 10 first and then subtract the number itself from the result. 
For example, to multiply 47 by 9, first multiply 47 by 10 to get 470. Then subtract 47 from 470 to get 423 as the result. To multiply a number by 5, multiply the number first by 10 and then divide the result by 2. For example, to multiply 57 by 5, first multiply 57 by 10 to get 570. Now divide 570 by 2 to get 285 as the result. Addition Hill There is a very interesting pattern in addition called Addition Hill. We know that 3 plus 4 is 7. What will be 30 plus 40? 30 plus 40 is equal to 70. What will be 300 plus 400? 300 plus 400 is equal to 700. Now you can tell the sum of 3000 and 4000 very easily. 3000 plus 4000 is equal to 7000. As this pattern gives a hill-like structure, we call it the addition hill. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. To add numbers with three or more digits mentally, add according to the place values of the numbers. To perform mental subtraction, subtract the nearest multiples of 10 and make suitable adjustments in the result. To multiply a number by 10 or its multiples, add the same number of zeros to the result as in the multiplier. To multiply a number by 9, multiply it by 10 first and then subtract the number itself from the result. To multiply a number by 5, multiply the number first by 10, and then divide the result by 2. Addition hills are created by adding multiples of same numbers.